Good morning. Praise the Lord. Today, 29th January, we'll uh, talk about uh, Esau, another aspect of Esau. God rejected Esau. In Malachi 1.3, God says, Esau I, I have hated. These words were intended to shock the Israelites and also all the believers who think that God is love. We have to study this matter and remove all these uh, misconceptions and doubts in our mind. As the firstborn in the family, Esau should have inherited both the blessings and birthright. But the uh, Lord gave them to his younger brother Jacob. The descendants of Esau were given their worldly blessings but no covenant blessings as God did to Jacob's descendants. In Romans 9, 10 to 13, Paul is quoting this to prove God's electing grace for both Israel and all who trust Jesus Christ for salvation. The verb hate must not be defined as an expression of the wrath of God. God's love was, uh, for Jacob was so great that uh, in comparison, his actions towards Esau looked like hatred. For example, when Jesus uh, called his disciples to hate their own family in Luke 14 and 26, he was using the word hate in a similar way. Another question may arise, why this partiality to God? God who is sovereign and knows what happens in the future elected Jacob to be as a predecessor for the Messiah to come onto this world. God chose Jacob before the babies were born. The two boys had done not, neither good nor evil. So God's choice was not based on their character or con conduct. Here we see national election, not individual. Since God's election of Israel does not depend upon uh, human merit, but on Abrahamic covenant. This we have to understand properly. God explained to Rebecca before her delivery of the twins that there were two nations in her womb and that they were two different types of people wrestling even before their birth. Malachi makes it plain by replacing the name of the man Esau with the nation Edom. Nonetheless, Esau was, Esau was plotting uh, Jacob's death and as such placed himself against God himself and his whole, whole messianic plan. Esau's personality can be seen even now in people who despised God while wanting all his blessings. In John 6, 24-26, Jesus compared such people who seek him for bread instead of spiritual food. The fact that God blessed Esau with worldly wealth can be seen in his statement to Jacob that he had enough. Uh, this we see in Genesis 33, 9, 11 and doesn't need any from Jacob. Jacob wanted to give some gifts to Esau but uh, he refused because uh, he had enough wealth. God had seen, God, God had been good to Esau but only Jacob acknowledged the, the source. Ingratitude also caused his rejection of his birthright and thus God's blessings also. God in Malachi is calling his people to see how blessed they were in contrast to their neighbors and kinsmen who faced God's judgment. Hebrews 12th chapter applies this issue to our lives personally. By letting a root of bitterness spring up in our lives, in our heart, as Esau did against Jacob, his chosen person, we could also face God's re rejection. No amount of tears could get back our blessings. And also the same thing happened to Esau also. He cried but he couldn't get his blessings. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for explaining to us why you hated Esau. Please make us understand your mentality properly, Lord. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.